Hello everybody, this is Havoc and welcome back to City Skylines in our town, city of Fairwood. So I kinda goofed up. I had recorded a big ol' snippet of, of content. Uh, not necessarily a full episode's worth, but just enough to make a pretty nice solid timeline of the things I have done. And well, I won't say I messed up. OBS did something and freaked out the file and it is now corrupted. So rather than go back in time and try and redo everything, I thought I'd just give you a little bit of a uh, an overview of all the things that I did. So one of the first and foremost things is I noticed that sprinkled throughout our town, uh, our city, were just big empty spaces. Like over here, all of this was empty. This stuff was empty. You know, we just had places where I had built where I never planned on putting buildings, uh, that were just green grass and it looked very, very awkward. So, one of the big things I did is I filled it in. Now, it's nothing fancy. It's nothing super crazy. Nothing incredibly detailed either. But this is like one of the spots, for instance. I do actually kind of enjoy what I did here. Uh, so, just kind of filling in between things. Giving it some quality of life appearances. Um, even uh, giving, adding some pathways for people to walk through, all sorts of deals. I actually really like this because it goes under the bridge. Even though it's clipping a little bit, it's okay. So that was the first thing. I really filled in the stuff so the city is more full. The other thing I did is, uh, we actually will fix this. I don't like the straight curvature. I was just dorking around and decided to keep it. But one of the buildings that we can put in here is just a an old school castle, right? And it actually boosts our uh, river traffic by like 5%, which is pretty cool. And it also brings in tourists. So the Sea Fortress is something that I thought I would add just as a fun quality of life. Again, this is a vanilla campaign, so that makes sense to me. Uh, the other thing that I did, let's see. Oh, yes. For one, uh, I improved this area just a tiny bit. But another thing that I'm really disappointed you didn't get to see me make was our newest connection over to the farming industry. We were having some major issues where this was getting backed up so far that it was actually clogging up the traffic starting to go along here. So what I did is I built a simple two-way highway, nothing fancy, and then I gave people a, an exit onto uh, into the farming industry. It's relatively simple. There's nothing fancy about it. Uh, just almost like a trumpet, I guess you could call it. Uh, but then also I extended the two-way highway over the hill and through the woods. So that way eventually we can get to grandmother's house over here uh, whenever we expand. Nothing too crazy on that front. But then I also thought about what I could do today. So what we are going to do here is we're almost, I'm going to call it a buffer zone. And that's going to sound really weird and random but essentially i'm going to create a small district here in which all of our houses are self-sufficient and we're going to have a small market over here that is local produce only uh i we i just feel like we have to connect these towns um yeah i just really feel like it's going to eventually sprawl into it or i can really just take the time and put a big forest in between which i'm not adverse to uh, but I really feel like we just gotta, we gotta do something because, uh, it's just that dead space that I was talking about earlier. Uh, so what we might do actually is convert, let's see, I'm trying to look and prepare for the future. Uh, we aren't going to worry about ore and stuff here. I think what we're going to do is we're going to surround the farmland, uh, with suburbanism, uh, and then have a, an industrial sector over here. Uh, so what we might do then is I might just transform all of this stuff into suburbia and then we might do something else here. Maybe well, we wouldn't want to have an amusement park right next to farming town. I just want to, I do want to do something to separate it. I just haven't quite figured out what. So that's what we're going to work on today. We're going to build suburbia. We are going to do a time lapse because uh, this is going to be quite extensive. It will surround everything here. So it will go a long ways. But guys, before we start the time lapse, as always, if you enjoyed any part of this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, be sure to sub to the channel, engage the YouTube algorithm like I know you guys are so fantastic at doing, and let's build Suburbia 3.0, I suppose it should be called.
All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Actually, before we begin. So, what we are going to try here is we are going to see... I'm going to make a new space. It's going to be very, very confined. So, essentially, what the city of Fairwood has decided, we're going to role play here for a little bit, is that we are going to try in the midst of of this new suburban area is that we are going to attempt local produce only and then self-sufficient housing uh, now I do want to emphasize that it's a very restricted area so I'd rather not even cross over into streets as I think that would probably actually have an effect on it but what we did is we built a new area. I banned high rise in case you didn't see that, uh, in case I didn't do it for whatever reason. Uh, what we are going to do is uh, uh, we're going to call this Utopia simply because, I mean, we're going to be all on our own, right? Essentially. Uh, city planning, what we're going to do is we're going to do high tech housing turns homes into much cooler, smart homes, slightly increased land value, upkeep of four cents per residential building. That's okay. We're going to do small business enthusiasts as well. We are, I don't know that we should ban high traffic. I don't know that that's gonna work. Uh, but we did that uh, boost connections. No, we're not gonna worry about that. Uh, electric cars is another thing we're gonna do. Uh, combustion engine ban is going to go right here. I think electric cars don't affect, I don't know that it does, that's fine. Uh, what we're also gonna do is we're gonna do lightning rods on the roofs. Uh, Old Town, we're definitely not gonna do that. Uh, let's go uh, NIMBY might actually be good. I think we're fine, but the difference is when are we going to here? We're going to go into commercial specializations. We are going to focus on organic and local produce. When we go to office, we are going to do uh, we're not going to do that. What we're going to do here is we're going to do self-sufficient buildings. Uh, I think with the we're not going to do the IT cluster simply because I don't think it'll work. Uh, I don't think we have enough of an educated populace. But regardless, we have our uh, Underhill Square. I've never been good with suburban areas, so uh, we might just leave that uh, for now. We might expand into here. I'm not entirely sure. I kind of want to see how well this goes. Now, we should uh, basically have things start going off right off the bat. And if we speed things up just a little bit, I'm hoping that Utopia will be attractive enough to want to have those things. Like free EV charging. Absolutely. The fairest coffee of them all. A place for your stuff. Fantastic. Oh, I love the names. Fair Trade Coffee. It seems like it's actually working fairly well. Now, this is going to be a rather draining sector on us. Uh, I would imagine if we look... Let's take a look. If we have Amity Heights here, it's 43 cents per meter squared. This is currently at 15, but I think it'll be good. Uh, we're also going in Utopia. We're gonna use power usage, water usage, smoke detector distribution. Uh, we're gonna do a smoking ban as well. We're gonna do all the things just to kind of test out what happens here um, to see whether or not it really is effective in creating all the good things. The Hickory Residence. But I think it's going to really go a long ways towards increasing uh, our uneducated populace for a, for a decent being, uh, while decent while, excuse me. But I also think it'll just be good overall. Uh, and then I'm actually really enjoying how well that turned out. I had a little bit of a problem figuring out which direction I wanted to go with all of these, but I thought it would be kind of cool. This is more of a high uh, high density sort of layout. But I thought since we're playing, or since these guys are kind of in the mode of uh, self-sustaining, kind of giving it that blocky feel, I, for some reason, just really appealed to me. And then, of course, uh, we need to, you know, come in and fill things in so it's not so boring and bland. Now, those might fill in themselves. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but we should be able to reduce... Let's see, Utopia should have a high-rise ban. 
as well. Underhill Square has the high rise band. Good. Awesome. Uh, and then we won't do the electric cars or anything over there. I think that would probably cause more issues than it would solve. And it looks like we've already kind of bounced back. Yeah, we're not too shabby. I like it. Let's see what our traffic's doing. Our traffic isn't that heavy either. And what we're going to see, I think, is a sort of evolution of where people start using this more. The point to where I do want to kind of do something along this line. And maybe we could even cut off these connections entirely. Because these, oh, these are one ways, aren't they? That's right. We'll see how it goes, but I'm already seeing some traffic weaving in and out and through the areas, and I think that will work uh, just dandily for now. Utopia is looking great. We're already up to 22 cents. And it'll take just a little bit of time, but I think with all the things we got going, multimedia center, buy it all shop, mom's sprouts, Edison hypercharger, I think we'll be doing everyone a favor here. Look at that. All of the parking, or most of the parking, I should say, is EV, which I think is really, really cool. And then we're also giving access to a lot of other people, uh, a lot of other things. Uh, let's go with a fire department. We're going to put some on the outskirts of town. We'll probably end up putting a child health center as well in here. Really looking after the well-being of our children is essential, I think. I feel like a sauna would do very, very well over here. So let's drop a sauna. Just to give people some nice stuff. Uh, cool, we actually have a lot of people. Uh, this is a little bit morbid, but I noticed while I was doing all the things that uh, our our graveyards were uh, they were full. So instead of constantly having the full sign, I uh, started emptying them out, and then they went to the cremat <laughs> crematorium. <laughs> oh, it's it's morbidly twisted in a rather funny way. I don't know how to explain it. Um, it's it's humorous to me. So like, yeah, uh, we exhumed everyone. And then we went back in and uh, remated everyone. Also, I forgot to mention, this is something of a work in progress that I'm just wanting to test out. So uh, this is a nice industrial center. As you can see, it's causing a lot of heavy traffic issues. A lot of heavy traffic issues. And it's something I'm not quite sure I know how to accomplish at the moment. Uh, it may be that, you know what? Let's try, let's try, hmm. I'm wondering if there is traffic. If all of the traffic here. It's all filtering in. And I see almost none of it. I guess a few things go over to there. But they could take the other highway. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a little bit of solving mindset to see if it even works we are going well let's take a look at our transportation real quick okay none of our transportation goes this way so what we are going to do we're going to test this out is i'm going to push this to go this direction only now what that will do is it will force everyone we're going to open this up into just a regular thing. And essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna force everyone to go through here. I may have just caused an even larger problem. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna toggle this live. Let's see, they don't need to stop here. Is this a light? No, our problem is just getting through the daggone place. Uh, so what we might do here...
Don't know why it goes the other way like that. And this will just allow people to have a nice little home stretch area. We may even do this. Did I just do my own traffic solving? Not quite. Don't give me credit yet. Don't give me credit. Look at them pouring into this. <laughs> I don't think I solved anything. I think I just caused more problems. Because we're still relatively backed up. This is a tricky pickle. A tricky pickle indeed. What were to happen if I would just turn this into a two lane highway? I feel like we'd get through things a little quicker. And then if I continued to make that like that, then we wouldn't have any traffic that needed to stop. And if we have no traffic, then we have no reason to, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? We're, we're going drastic here. We, we've decided that these businesses are no longer necessary. Simply because I don't want people stopping right here to go push their goods in and out of places. Hmm, I see what's happening. They're not bringing their goods necessarily. Let's just turn all of this into regular roads, minus what I've already done. That way people are free to explore however they want to explore, and we'll see if that has any effect on the traffic in the area. We're now at 85%. It's caused even more issues. Why are we having so many issues? We have tons of people trying to come in through here. That's the problem. I would have thought that this would solve some things, but it almost seems to have made them worse. Let's take a look here. You are a hearse? Yeah, it seems like we almost just need some sort of access to the highway itself without having to go through this road. Because this road is now just so heavily trafficked that uh, we, we've got to force ourselves to do something different. I have a bonkers theory here. I don't know if it'd be wise to force all of the industry to go through the highway, but this is what we're gonna try. This is attempt number two to see if business will will function correctly. Essentially, what I'm gonna do right here, or what I did is I destroyed this road, which means that all traffic now has to redirect through here. And if we redirect it through there, We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. What I need to do, no, this is this is fun. This is a, a little unorthodox as well. Realism is gonna kinda go out the window today. So we're gonna have a lot of incoming traffic. If we have incoming traffic, what we're going to do is we are going to go underground. We are gonna go underground And I'm going to turn this thing. I know what I'm about. I know what I'm doing. And then what we're going to do, this is a one way, by the way, I should emphasize that. There's our one way and our one way up top. is going okay so we can't do that
is going to go the other way. Therefore, all the traffic gets redirected here underneath. And what we don't need anymore is we don't need a light, nor do we need a stop sign. Again, this is a little unorthodox. I can't say that this is going to be the most effective way. What I can say is that we are moving traffic much faster. Yeah, I don't know if this is the correct approach. I mean, it works. It is effective in what it is trying to accomplish. And we have drastically altered our original city because of it. But goodness gracious, is that a lot of traffic coming in and out. <laughs> oh my word. And then if we hit the highway... Yep. There's an even bigger issue because people are trying to crisscross their paths, trying to get over to here. I'm kind of thinking I should just start over and uh, not allow that to happen again. But I'm not sure what the correct approach would be. We need our own connection solely for uh, industry to go through, which we could do that. Unfortunately, that would cause more issues than it's solving. If we were to stop all of this, we have no way for these guys to then go across the way into there. What's our traffic? Traffic's at 87%. It may figure itself out as we go along. Regardless, we lightened up this stuff. And it may just be that this stays heavy for a little while until the game kind of figures itself out. Uh, meanwhile, back over here, our neighborhood has completely filled up. Not only has it filled up, but it looks like we're getting into the second tier densities as well. Victoria Residence is looking swimmingly well. I like it. I like everything that's popped up so far. Well, this is quite the wealthy residence here. You've even got a nice little barbecue. I think... This is actually done pretty darn good. Organic stalls. We've got everything we need. And commercial demand does just keep on rising. Goodness gracious. We're going to just uh, vary up the size here. And then, uh, I think we're going to sprinkle offices in between it as well. Which is going to reduce the amount of uh, demand for industry and or offices. Very nice. I think people are using things relatively effectively. Hey, look at that. 90% even with everything we've got going on here. Now what we essentially did by removing the industry's access here is that we have heavily, and we've caused a little bit of a, an issue here and that we forced people to go a different direction. And they're utilizing this much heavier than they were before. Uh, but I still think it's okay. It's not fantastic, but it's not the absolute worst. What I wanna know is why you people are not just going around this way. You're not making sense. Did you miss your exit? I mean, is that what's going on here? Or is it easier to just turn around? Seems like it's just easier to turn around. Eighty-seven percent, not the best. Not the best at all. 
Uh, but you know what? Let's go ahead and fill this out. Got 55%. Yep. There we go. There we go. I'm going to try and preserve these as much as possible. Now we're still gonna build houses here. Don't get me wrong. Houses must come. But everything else will have to be just fine as it is. There we go. Awesome. Fantastic. Oh, gross. That's not fantastic. There we go. Cool. Okay. Another little weird side of the neighborhood, but that's okay. Uh, we are going to add to it. There we go. Underhill Square. I don't believe this has, I almost said irrigation. This technically isn't wrong. There we are. And then I think we just need to go right down this middle. And nothing fancy here. What we might actually do, we might add just like a little neighborhood commercial area but outside of that full scale full scale and then maybe we'll do that maybe we'll add just like a little barrier here uh, and then improve it on that on that premise how many do we need? We need 40,000 in order to get a lot more things, like an ocean thermal energy, a cargo hub, nuclear power plant, and a floating cafe. I think that would be good. Uh, I don't know that there's much else that needs uh, terribly done. I did notice that we're still understaffed over here, and I'm not quite sure what to do about it. I don't know how to get more people to decide they want to come in. Cause we need 550 to get to our tier four. We have well over the number of goods, but outside of that, we still need a little bit of help. I still think this works. It's just not incredibly effective. Of course we could demolish all of this stuff. And in which case that would probably free up some traffic Maybe we do. Maybe that's what I do. Let's just do that. Uh, again, realism went out the door today. It just went bye-bye. We'll figure out what to do with this section at a future date. But uh, I, I, I want to try and clear up our road system or do anything like that. And I think it will improve by quite a bit. Yep, we're already at 92 with that decrease there, I think it'll be good. We'll have our in big giant industrial center. Don't you worry. Uh, we just gotta we gotta figure out what we're doing with our lives first. That's a little more important. I like the difference here. You see the stark reality of our self-sufficient center. Because all of this is bright houses, different colors, doing all sorts of things. And then you come over here and it's just matte. Everyone's got grass and stuff on their roofs, which is great. It's not a problem, but it's just interesting to see how that's working out. Land values at 37 cents per meter squared, which isn't bad. It's not fantastic, but it's not bad. 
quite satisfied overall absolutely uh and then let's see what is our monuments what do our monuments look like i think we're okay for the most part there's so many things we're going to put in everything once we're able to let's put us i want to start dropping some of these monuments in i just think it would be really fun to do oh also this area right here i think we're gonna build our first university here i thought it would be cool to maybe split up the university between this section right here we already have an actual university which we'll probably delete once we build our first campus but i thought it'd be really fun for a campus build to go right over here uh so let me know your thoughts about that but yeah we're gonna suburbia 2.0 is looking great we can have a friendly neighborhood park who wouldn't want a friendly neighborhood park right there i mean that sounds great to me and a fountain of life and death i know where that's going i'm so twisted i'm so morbidly morbidly twisted because i want to put it right here next to elder care but alas there is no point at which i could do that okay we have the lungs of the city I actually think that would be a fun thing. That would be a fun thing to, to put over here in a more heavily, uh, not forested, heavily infested. It's not, it's not an infestation. But putting that somewhere over yonder. We have all of our downtown area things that I want to put. Unfortunately, we can't touch that. Uh, Central Park included, because that looks absolutely massive. Uh, what we could do is I suppose we could have... Uh, I don't know that I want a panda sanctuary. Oh, the winter market. That's what we were going to do. I know I messed up somewhere. We were going to do a winter market over here. Yep, sorry. Now, the winter market is massive, so we are going to destroy Davy Street. We're going to put that there. There we go. I know it's not winter time, but it'll be fine. It will be fine. The whole point is to basically uh, beautify the area. As you can see, we still need some work on that. The Fountain of Death and Life. I still think should go over here. Unfortunately, we can't make it fit. You know what? Let's do it right here. That way, these guys can look at it in their spare time. I think that works out. Ladies and gentlemen, a little bit of a shorter episode today. I think, anyways. But I do think we have accomplished the things we want to accomplish. We have made Utopia and a new suburb area. I think we're going to work on a campus sometime in the near future. We have all of our lines, which are working fairly well, all things considered. I can't complain about them. And then we also have unlocked this area. So we could start, start, I remind you, our downtown area. And in fact, we've already got perfect place for Central Park to go, which I think will work great. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed any part of this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, do all the things like commenting and even sharing it with your friends and your family. Thank you so much for hanging out with me as we built up Utopia and our wonderful places. This is Havoc. I'll see you in the next episode.